الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب We will begin a new series بإذنillah this week and every day we will try to find a new good deed to perform in hopes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gain us forgiveness for our sins help us to come closer to him and strengthen us in iman so first we'll begin with a hadith or more appropriately let's begin with the ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wal asr inna al-insana lafi khusr illa al-ladhina amanu wa amanu salihati wa tawasu bil haqi wa tawasu bil sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allah swears by the time wal asr inna al-insana lafi khusr all of mankind is in a loss that means without exception then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So Allah then makes that exception for us. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe, meaning those who have believed are the only ones excluded from that first group that are in a loss. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. So you have to have the iman, or you have to believe, that's a part of iman, as well as deeds are a part of iman, as well as uh, statements of the tongue are a part of iman. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ So you believe and you do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And you call to the truth, exhorting to the truth. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And you exhort to patience or you are patient. أيها الأحباب That gives us evidence in general of the importance of doing righteous deeds. And that is a characteristic of Ahl Iman. And that they are the ones who are excluded from from the khasirun, from being those people who are in a loss. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam where he salawatu rabbi wa sallamu alayhi said, or he was asked, su'ila nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an afdal a'mal So the Prophet ﷺ was asked about what is the best deed. قَالْ صَلَاةَ لَوَقْتِهَا He said prayer at his time. قُلْ سُثُمَّ أَيْ So the narrator which is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه who was the one who was asking he said then what? The Prophet ﷺ said بِرُ وَالِدَيْنِ He said, being righteous to the parents. So the second deed that he mentioned, all the way to the end of the hadith, the first uh, deed, righteous deed of the best deeds. He said, What deed or what deeds are most beloved to Allah? He said, the prayer in its time. Then he said, then what? So he wanted to know after that, after that haq of Allah. Then he said, He said, being righteous to your parents. So the deed for today, ayyul ahbab, is do, try to think of one action that will please your parents. If you see your mother, if your parents are still living, and may Allah have mercy upon all of our parents, ameen, and give them guidance for those that are non-Muslim, and guidance for those that are Muslim, to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Try to, if your parents are living, ayyul ahbab, or someone, one of your elders, or one of your relatives, or someone that you respect in authority over you, today try to smile at them, ask them something that they uh, fulfill one of their requests, or carry something for them. If they are coming in from shopping, carry their bags, or just give them a big hug. So that's today's deed is that you will try your best, or that we will try our best to do one of those actions. Either smile and say a word of kindness to them, uh, ask them if they need anything, carry something for them, or give them a big hug, or all of those. 
Those are the good deeds for today. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah bless us with ilm al nafid as wa amin al-mutakabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyin Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.